Spoiler alert, I mean, do we, how much do we give away? I don't Carrie think Anne? much. We don't, we right? Don't. We don't talk about plot or, no, right? No, we can't. No, we, can, we shouldn't. We shan't, we can't. We shan't. We can't. We, we shan't. shan't. <laughs> We shan't, we shan't. I've gotten so sophisticated. You have. I know. You've grown. I think I realized it when I went to watch it in a regular theater, not at the premiere, at a, in, with a regular audience. And the ex excitement during the watching of the film was something I had never felt before in a movie. And a lot of the excitement was towards cool things I was doing, and so it was really surreal for me. You know, when Trinity goes down and does that, you know, people are cheering for her. And I just was like, it was very moving for me. I did not expect that. Yeah, I think that was the first time that I really felt the weight of, of how people felt about it. Yeah, I mean, I guess it was friends. I mean, I think the first time that I felt like, I'll say one version was being at a friend's house and she had cut, her and Lily had cut a, a sizzle reel. And I played it. Because, you know, we were gone for, what, eight months? Seven months? Eight months? And so when I came back, they're like, what are you doing? And I was like, this is what I've been doing. You know, and so I put in this sizzle reel, which is this highlights of moments. And uh, my friends were like, what is that? That is cool. And I was like, yeah. Um, so that was the first time that I think from the outside world that I kind of had that experience. And then once the film opened, I, I mean, I know like when bullet time started being commercials, that cinematically something, I mean, it's, is it as big as puberty? No. It's pretty life-changing. Yeah. 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 Life-changing experience. <laughs> puberty and the Matrix. <laughs> it's kind of started with a text and then a phone call. I guess my story about it is it's one of those phone calls where even though you're at home, you stand up. And you're like in your own house. Like, hello, you know. You stand up. Um, ask me if I was interested. And it's like, What'd yes. you say? I said yes. Has to tell the story is beyond my comprehension. It's really incredible. The layers of her artistry in the writing and then, you know, the execution of, of it all. I think you really go on a journey. It's, it's an experience. Watching the movie is a total experience. I think we both were struck a little bit by how much humor there was in it. It's, uh, it's throwing down the Matrix gauntlet again. And, uh, you know, it's super smart, clever, entertaining, suspenseful, funny, you know. The way that she was able to bring us back into this is master storytelling. And when I read it for the first time, I was with Kiana reading it at a table, you know, going to that reading, I had no idea how were we going to go back to this world. I fantasized it in my mind like three different scenarios. I, I, I was nowhere close. I would never have guessed in a million years that we would go in this direction and tell the story in this way.